Hi, my name is Andrew. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to review a fundraising investor database for investment banks. If you watch my previous videos, you know that you can click my Fiverr link below to get in information on investor databases for venture capital, private equity, Andrew groups, family investment offices, and more. I also help clients with pitch deck reviews. If you're getting ready to send your pitch deck out to investors, I have a service on Fiverr where I will review it for you. Approximately 80% of the pitch decks that I receive are not suitable to be sent out to investors. Databases are now free with a pitch deck review, so that is good news if you are getting ready to start your fundraising campaign. That is one sector only per client. Contact me for more details on this program. And here are the uh, sectors that I've covered in the past few videos. If you've watched my YouTube channel, you know I have over 190 videos on fundraising databases, how to make pitch decks, business plans, uh, and more fundraising tips. Uh, and I've recently recorded some videos on investor databases for sectors uh, uh, that startups may be interested in. So if your startup uh, is uh, included in this particular list, which should uh, encompass most of the startups out there. Uh, you may want to check my previous videos, and of course, uh, these are for my database of 400,000 investor contacts, and it shows how I create the databases for clients on Fiverr. And today, we're going to cover investment banks. What did the final database include? So I was able to get 1,800 investment bank contacts uh, and 950 emails, 600 LinkedIn addresses, and about 1,600 websites. And this included some key contacts with titles and their email addresses. So what type of contacts will benefit from a investment bank database? Uh, it could include mergers and acquisition advisors. These are professionals guiding businesses through M&A processes, seeking top tier investment banks for facilitating deals. Private equity firms, those are organizations looking for banks to structure large financial transactions or orchestrate significant capital infusions. Uh, corporate treasurers, uh, individuals managing the finances of large corporations, requiring investment banking services for financing and advisory. Uh, real estate investment trusts or REITs, uh, those are entities managing portfolios of real estate assets, seeking expert financing and strategic advice. Uh, asset and portfolio managers, those are professionals managing diverse investment portfolios, keen on leveraging investment banks for insights, analytics, and transactional services. And startup founders and entrepreneurs, those are business leaders aiming to go public or raise substantial capital looking for experienced investment banking partners. So that is a wide range of the type of clients that could benefit from the investment bank database. So let's take a look at the database. So now we're over on the database portion and as you can see down here we've got investment banks as the keyword that I used in the database of 400,000 contacts. And in this particular database you're going to get the full name, you're going to get email, entity type is all going to be investment banks firm name, country, this is a global database, so you're going to get a wide range here, uh, LinkedIn and website, and some of them will have sector information here, uh, but the best thing to do is, of course, do your research. Now, this type of database is great for people that are raising funds, as you saw in one of the previous slides. Uh, there are about 950 email IDs here, and most of these are going to be at info at, company at, whatever it is. This database is not meant to be used to spam. Uh, it is to be used for research by people that are looking to do their fundraising. Um, so it's very key that you actually do a bit of research. Uh, it has 1,600 websites. Now, the reason that you're not getting all the emails is because the databases that I acquire, and I acquire them from most of the groups on the internet. I think I have the largest private uh, database of investors and investment professionals in the world. 
again at 400,000 and you can check it out on most websites they'll have 100,000 maybe 50,000 75,000 that sort of thing but I have been working on this database for a little more than three years and um, I work on it about 330 days a year um, so it's a full-time job for me to help clients not only on my Fiverr profile but I have private websites that I help founders with so this is going to have 600 LinkedIn's as well uh, one of the other things that you'll notice is you can go to websites uh, if it says unknown if you go to the website a lot of times you're going to be able to pick up the uh, LinkedIn address uh, from the website uh, so just because it says unknown doesn't mean you cannot contact them um, again 1600 on the websites which basically means there's about 1600 uh, investment banks in total and again this is a great database if you're looking to raise uh, investment capital uh, and you can see here as I go down to the bottom it's a fairly impressive list I think this is the largest database of investment banks uh, that's available um, so it's really handy if you're interested in that just contact me via my private Fiverr link below are you looking for updated investor databases my databases include venture capital private equity family offices angel investors Andrew groups and high net worth investors with over 400,000 verified global contacts And be sure to check out my full database of family investment offices, the perfect way to access ultra high net worth investors. This is the largest database of family investment offices that you're able to access. There's over 10,000 contacts. Click my fiber link below for more information. Thank you for watching this video.